hello friends in this video we are going to be modeling analysis and design of this cantilever crosses just like this okay you are very welcome to card level 100 channel my name is mr friday your instructor but before we proceed right into the lesson of today i will want you to hit on the like button and subscribe to our channel card level 100 right away let us make progress at first i will be creating a new project so i will navigate to the file menu and then i will click on the new project i will save change to this project Then in the project code provisions, I will have cantilever state trust one. Just like this, I'll click on OK. The code of practice will be considering is the Euro code, UK Euro code. I click on import. And then here is the UK Euro code template. Alright, so we want to start to set out our green lines for our modeling of the cantilever process. So I will navigate to the orthogonal axis generator. I will pick it at this point, right? At first in the direction two, I will be having a specific 6,000 millimeter. All right, it's going to be the cantilever of the process then i'll be have it in two places just like this one in the direction one which is the axis level a directions i'll be having a span between the lines to be 400 sorry 4000 millimeter and now we are going to have it spaced into six places just like this okay so this is the green line set out i click on the okay options and then I'll be having something of this kind. After which, the next thing I will do, I'll navigate to the stories. Right click right there. And then I will insert stories. Just like this. I will be having all together two stories. Successfully. Just like this. Click on the OK options. And yes options. I will also navigate to the stories once more. And then I'll go to edit stories. This provisions for the we have first concrete columns that is going to be carrying these two stanchions and we have it to be 600 from the ground level and then the foundation is going to be 1100 so 600 plus 1100 altogether have a total length of a foundation column to be 1700 successfully just like this okay then this height of the stanchion is going to be 4000 500 just like this okay so these are the necessary settings i needed for the cantilever process i click on the okay options and i'll have this quickly and navigate to the story one and then i pick on the columns right there all right for my columns i will have a section of 400 by 400 and then i will click and hold drag my cursor and I have a shade over the provisions I needed to insert the column at the green line intersection. Successfully, I release my hand to insert those columns just like this. Alright. After which, I will navigate to the story 2. Just like this, okay. At this story 2, what I will do, I will navigate to where I have my steel sections. Okay, so I'm working with steel column right away. Click right there. And then I will navigate to the section manager and then be able to select this section i'm going to be considering 152 152 23 thickness successfully i select that and then i want to rotate this in this other 90 degree directions just like this sorry in the 180 degree directions and then i'll click on okay options all right i will click here hold the left button of the mouse move my hand over these provisions i release my hand to inside these columns Still stanchions successfully, just like this. After which, I click on the update closed, all right? Then I will navigate to the 3D, just like this. And then this is what I have so far, all right? So at this point, we will 
start placing our cantilever trusses. So how do we do that? You have to navigate to trusses. Right? It's still trusses right there. Click it once. I want to close this provisions and go back and activate it once more. Right? Just like this. I'll pick the first point and then the end point of the trusses. And then I'll have something of this kind. I will navigate to this type of trust and activate that successfully. The first thing I will do, trust support placement, I will change it to to bottom, just like this. Right left vertical offset is going to be 1500, just like this, okay. After which I will have to fix the joint of the model successfully, just like this, alright. Then I want to get to the members, right? In the members, I'm going to be using a square hole section of 100 by 6 millimeter thickness for the top and bottom cut successfully. All right. Then for the bottom cut, the same sections I will be considering. 100, 6 millimeter. Select that. Okay, options. For the diagonal. I'll be using the subsection, this one, this time around, I'll be considering 800, 5 millimeter, so 80 by 80 by 5 millimeter, select that options, OK option. Then for the vertical, I will still use the same shape and 80 by 80, 5 millimeter thickness, select that, OK options, after which I can click on the Okay, right away to insert the truss. So you can see the truss right away. But the insertion method is not intended. So I will select that right click. Click on each property. I'll navigate to these provisions where I have bottom and choose top. All right, just like this. This provisions after we click on the OK options to have it just like this. So I want to be copying this truss to these other trusses successfully. So I'll right click on it, pick copy. I'll pick this first point just like this. Take it to the second point. I'll go to the third point, all right? The first point and the first point, just like this, okay? All right, so for this side, I will pick this again. Then I will pick it from this point, all right? Escape that, pick it first from that point and take it to this end point. You have it just like this. Click on the OK options to get that inserted successfully, just like this. Continue to place it along the grid line intersection, just like this, all right? So. This is our cantilever process. We placed it successfully. Okay, so the next thing we will be considering is we will navigate to trust again and then we pick this point and then this point in this provisions we change it to this other type of trust. All right, so once we get that, or we can still use this one, we navigate to this provision where we have left cantilever, we change it to zero. All right, then we'll come to where we have. Right in height, we change it to 500. Okay, just like this. All right, so click on the okay options to place that. So we'll continue to place it just like this and that provisions. So we have something of this kind successfully. Zoom closely, navigate to the polines members, pick the first cantilever trust, pick the last cantilever trust to have a poline member just like this. I will come to load and then in this provision I have my G load I add it 0.1 click in this provisions select all click on the OK to apply the load on the polite just like this I will navigate to my Q load add that load this one I'll be using 0.08 kilo Newton I'll select all of that so this is how you apply load to the polline successfully after which click on the ok options to get that polline inserted like this okay i can also have i can also add other features to this polines i'll go back to the property if i want to have a cantilever left and right okay cantilever left and right to be 1000 i can also have it in this other provisions to be 1000 just like this after which I click on the ok options and I have this, okay, I go back to the polines again, I pick that first and this one to also have the same thing, navigate to loads, 
all right with this same loading system click on the ok options to get that inserted just like this so after which i will save the project all right so having saved this project now i will now go to analysis tab go to building analysis and then i will go straight away to the parameters where i'll be able to set my foundations so I bearing capacity to be 140 kilo newton per square meter just like this and as well set the title of the project and the rest of that click on the ok options all right for the material for the reinforced concrete we only have in a column so we can edit the material for the columns edit the strength of the material to be 20 slash 25 strength click on the apply to all okay options and then for the great steel weight we use 460 all right type 2 apply to all click on okay options all right then for the reinforcement for the columns the minimum reinforcement we need for our columns is going to be 16 t16 all right so we select t16 t20 and 25 all right just for the column because it's only column that is the reinforced concrete we have in the structure go to the foundations all right in the foundations we still use this click on ok all right and then we consider this click on ok all right then for the foundations we will be considering t12 all right and 16 these two for the foundation click on the ok options we go back to the material and check for this again all right remove the 12 okay 16 all right remove the 32 leave 25 click on the ok options then for the links right there for the links we will be considering 8 10 all right just 8 and 10 what will we consider for the links all right so after which for the links still great we will use this one plain okay click on the ok option and after which click on ok again Close this dialog, save the project at first. After having the project saved successfully, go to analysis tab again, building analysis. Okay. Also, come to this provisions again. These are the steel columns strength. Alright, as well as the steel beam trusses strength. Okay, has been selected just like this. So after analysis, the program will select the right strength for the design. Click on OK. And we get to the analysis tab, check the structure for any error. We are having zero error. Close the dialog. We are set to analyze the structure right away. Select the steel and the column as well as the beam successfully. Start analysis. The load case and combination are not defined. Click on OK. And then you will navigate to the pre analysis. Click on the loading combinations. Click on load generator. We are considering this because it is an error code we are using. Okay, the factor for Q and G. It's going to be just the way it is right there. Click on the OK options. Click on OK. Now go back to analysis. Right. Choose the. So the analysis is successful. You can see. So you just have to click on the OK options. Okay. The analysis is done. Click on the close. All right. So for the checking, you can't. Be able to select any of these right click and then click on the steel member check all right after you come to these provisions you come to this place and click on check selected steel or check all all right so once you click on that all the members have been checked successfully you can see all has passed design successfully for the steel uh can't lever trust click on the ok options so for the police select that right click Click on the steel member design. So the members have been designed successfully. None is failing. You can see. Okay. All right. So the same thing applicable to the stanchion. Select it. Right click, and click on the steel member design. Okay. Design is successful. Right away. We are not having any error. So click on the OK options for the concrete. Select it. Right click, and then select the column section design. So you are having this B design, interactive design, you can see you have 8 T12, alright, successfully. So all the part of the structures has been designed successfully, just like this. 
So we want to design the foundations as well. So we navigate to the story zero right away after we click. Before then, we have to save the project. Okay, we are going to be selecting all of these columns. Select the first one, put the control key, select the rest of these columns successfully. I click and then insert part base. Then we only want a typical part base, so we uncheck that. Click on the OK options. So our part base is being inserted successfully, just like this. You can see. So we will be able to model, analyze, and design this cantilever stay crosses successfully just like this we urge you to like the lesson subscribe if you have any question drop it in the comment sections see you in the next advanced lesson of this kind bye for now